Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to talk about parallels and series circuit, okay? We're gonna go ahead and build do-it-yourself DIY um, circuit kit, okay? So we're gonna build a parallel circuit and a series circuit, all right? So come on, go ahead, follow me. All right, so some of the items that you will need consist of a vanilla folder, two batteries to make the light bulbs turn on, you need the LED lights, okay? Two of them per uh, circuit, so you need four. Uh, some fasteners, you need three, two for one of the circuits, and then just one for, for the series circuit. A small piece of aluminum foil, some scissors, glue stick, and most important is a uh, copper tape, okay? Find it at Amazon, pretty cheap. And finally, you need your actual circuit boards uh, cut out. So I kind of made these and I'll put those in the description below so you can print them out and then you can work on them, okay? All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the manila folder. I'm gonna cut out my papers and I'm gonna place them one on each side. And then I'm gonna label them, of course. But before I label them, I have to glue them onto the, onto the folder. So let me glue them real quick. And then we'll talk about them. Okay. Okay, once they're glued down, I make sure I label them. So I put series circuit for the simple circuit and this is a series circuit and the parallel circuit is a little bit more complex circuit where we are able to maintain one light on and the other one off okay okay what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go ahead and tape add tape to the lines this is at the copper wire tape this is basically where the uh, wires would go okay notice that there's a battery section here um, of course, the wire has to be touching the battery so that it conducts the electricity around. So let me go ahead and take this up and then we'll come back and show you what, how that looks. Okay, I'm starting with the series circuit. To measure, I usually start from the, from the end point all the way to the, where I'm wherever I'm going to start. And then I use my scissors to cut a piece. Okay, and again, this copper wire, it is double sided. This copper tape is double-sided, so when I peel it off, if I can peel it off, when I peel it off, notice that it has, uh, where's the camera, okay, it has copper on one side and on the other side, so it works pretty well. So I, again, I begin taping the line, and that's where my wire will go, okay, notice that it's stuck right there, nice and neat, okay. So a series circuit again continues in one path. So we'll do that. We'll, I'll go ahead and trace everything and then I'll come back and show you guys how that looks. Okay, as I put the tape down, I am gonna make sure that it overlaps like it does right here. Um, one of them has to go on top of the other. That way that the electricity can conduct. So again, I make sure it overlaps and once it overlaps, I know that the electricity will be conducted, okay? So I continue to add tape. Okay, once you wrap it all the way around, notice that I did cover the circle where the battery is going to go. Um, and then of course it goes all the way around. I did leave a space where my light bulb will go. Um, I turn around and then of course another light bulb is gonna go there. And then of course it continues, uh, making sure that everything is touching. And then here there's a little dot. This is where the switch is going to go. Okay, I'm gonna add a switch. And then of course I leave a gap to be able to connect the switch on and off. And then I continue. And then I go back to the battery and this is gonna be my positive side. So on this side, I need to add a little small, um, like a little wire to be able to connect it to the top of the battery. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So whenever you're gonna put your batteries, I kind of taped a little bit so they could stick together and they're gonna go 
with the positive side on top, okay? And notice that it is not touching, I don't know if you can see, but it is not touching the other battery. There's a, I'm sorry, the other wire. There is a space in between. So this is where I'm going to tape with the copper wire, okay? My aluminum foil so that it looks a little bit like that, okay? So whenever I put my battery down, okay, I can connect my wire, which is my aluminum foil, to the circuit, okay? Let's do that. Okay, in order to tape this down, I'm still using the copper tape, um, just because it is a conductor, and it is much easier um, than the regular tape, because the regular tape sometimes doesn't allow the electricity to go through, and then it will not work, okay? So in this case, I have it already set up, and let's see if I can show you what I mean. Here is my aluminum foil. It's where my battery is going to go, okay? So when I put, place my battery down here, the, pot, the negative side is touching the bottom wire, and the positive side is touching this top wire. So that will allow the electricity to go in a circuit, okay? Um, next up is the light bulbs, and then finally I'll work with my switch, okay? All right, guys. Okay, so I have my light bulbs ready. Okay, now from my light bulbs, um, they're LED. Okay, so they actually work in a specific way. Um, notice that one of the one of the e one of the legs in the LED is shorter than the other one. Okay, the shorter side is the negative side. So we need to connect that to our negative side of the battery. Okay, so when we connect it to the negative side, we want that shorter side touching that wire that is closer to my uh, battery. So it's going to be placed like this, okay? Negative side closest to the battery, and then the other larger uh, rod is going to go away from the energy, okay? Let's go ahead and tape this, that, this one down, okay? Same thing, I am using um, copper tape, okay? So the copper tape to cover the legs of the light bulb and of the LED light. And this is so that the light is still a conductor, okay? And this is how it looks. Uh, where's it at, right? Okay, so it will come from over here where the battery is. It will come around this way, up the light bulb, down the light bulb, and then we need another light bulb over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the other LED light on there and then we'll go on with the switch. Okay, so the second light bulb is installed. Okay, so the light, the <clears throat> again, the battery goes here, electricity flows this way to this light bulb, up the light bulb, turns it on, back down, around, and then up to the second light bulb, turns it on, all the way around, and then we have the switch. The switch is what controls the circuit, whether it turns it on or off, okay? We want it open or closed. So we're gonna set up the switch right now, and then we're gonna go, um, once we have the switch, it will allow the electricity to continue to flow all the way to the other side of the battery, and then it continues to do the circuit, okay? Let's go ahead and set up the switch. So for the switch, you're going to need a uh, little brace or a paper, paper, um, I'm, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug this into that dot. I don't know if you see it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and poke a hole first. Okay, once you have poked a hole right here, you're gonna go ahead and go from the back and insert it through the same spot so that the switch comes out through this side right here like that, okay? One side is gonna turn on the switch, turn on and off the light bulb, and the other side is going to be taped down, okay? So let's go ahead and tape it down and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so when I say tape down, I mean tape down with the copper tape. So notice that I place a copper tape on top and it is now taped down and you can see a gap right here, okay? That gap is for my switch, it's gonna be on, off, on and off, okay? I believe we're ready to test it out. Let's go ahead and go do a little quick overview, okay? We have a 
the light, um, I'm sorry, the battery will go here. It will go around to the first light bulb, turn it on, around the second light bulb, turn it on, and then back to the switch. I can control it whether it will turn on or off, around and back to the battery, okay? We'll test it out in a little bit, um, but first I wanna talk about this. So the series circuit is a circuit where electricity flows in one path, okay? Uh, when I turn it on, you're gonna notice that I cannot control both light bulbs. It's either they're both on or they're both off. I cannot control one or the other at the same time. They both have to be controlled together. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, we're gonna test it out. We have our battery here. We're gonna put it down here. And then all, you, all I have to do is tap. So it is now connected. And let me uh, go ahead and connect it with a copper wire. Okay, now it's taped down. And now all I have to do is press my switch, either on or off. So by pressing the switch down, it turns on my light bulbs, either on or off. Okay, notice that when the light bulb is on, okay, the electricity flows through around to this light bulb, around to the second light bulb, and back around to my switch. My switch controls it whether I want it to be off or on and then it continues around and around and around and around okay all right so this is great to take notes you can write notes in the center okay uh any new notes that you want um you know things about especially talking about the circuit and the series circuit okay i hope you guys like it go ahead and give it a likes and likes and thumbs up um and please leave a comment if i miss something also um, the items will be in the description below. I will also post another video with the parallel circuit side, okay? So stay tuned, guys. See you guys next time.